good morning you guys welcome back to the channel and welcome to a little day in my life at 39 weeks pregnant i didn't film a vlog or anything for last week because i was just not feeling up to it and i thought for sure that the baby was gonna come and he never came so i was like you know what i'm just gonna film something for this week i want to show you guys kind of just like what i've been up to these last few weeks just waiting for him because honestly it's kind of been just the same old same stuff every single day and I'm getting bored so I want to film it and show you. I feel like it's just so weird right now because it's like you don't want to do too much and like go super far when you can have a literal baby. So I've been trying to just find things to do like around the house and around where we live and stuff. So today we have a doctor appointment and I'm going to do the miles circuit. If you're pregnant, I'm sure you've heard of that, but it's supposed to help induce labor. I did it last Saturday, and I don't think it helped induce labor at all, but I'm going to try it again. Basically, 90 minutes of a workout, and two of them are like stretches, and then one is like actually walking or bouncing on a ball, doing something active. So I'm going to do the two stretches here before we leave for the appointment, and then do the walking part like after. Literally saw the breath just from talking and saying all that, but let's go do these little stretches. I just finished the two like stretches for the miles circuit and then I also did a few other little stretches, but Normally in the mornings, we either go for a walk as soon as we wake up or I will just do a bunch of stretches and then go to the gym later. So that's what we're going to do. I think today is just go to the gym like later, but I basically have been on maternity leave. So I haven't had a ton of work to do with brands because I thought, you know, I'd have my baby like around right now. And so we wanted some time to like nest and get the house ready, the nursery, all that stuff. So I haven't really been doing too much work with brands, but now I'm just getting to the point where I'm kind of bored. So basically anything I've been posting right now is just like for fun, not sponsored, not with brands, anything like that. But I'm getting to the point where I'm like, okay, I need something to do. We have a doctor's appointment today. We're actually going to leave here soon, but kind of long story short, yesterday morning, well, kind of like since this past weekend, I just haven't been feeling well. Like the contractions have been super, super intense and I've just not been feeling good. And then yesterday morning, they were, it was actually horrible. So I called to see if I could move my appointment up to like yesterday instead of having it today. And basically my doctor like wasn't in my OB's office. They were at the hospital. So she's like, just go to the hospital like take all your hospital bags with you and everything just in case they keep you it was a whole thing so we get there and they were just monitoring my contractions and everything and when we were there the contractions were four minutes apart which around like five minutes apart usually means that you are in active labor if they have if they stay consistent for an hour and so mine were four minutes apart, but they weren't, it didn't last the entire hour. I'd say they lasted for like 35 minutes or something. So they didn't keep us at the hospital and because I'm not dilating right now, so they sent us home and then we have our next appointment literally today. So it's just kind of like a waiting game right now, but not a fun waiting game. And that is the baby update on dilating, contractions, everything like that. So I guess we'll find out today at the appointment if I'm dilating anymore but I feel like from yesterday to today there's not gonna be that much of a difference hi baby do you want to meet your little brother or not right now oh okay we are heading to the doctor appointment now so hoping for better news today but like I said it's probably just gonna be the same as yesterday so I'll update you guys <laughs> Okay, so we just left the appointment and I'm just getting so, so frustrated. I can't even talk. Thank you. This is so crazy. 
crying. I literally can't even talk. I'm okay. Everything's fine. Okay, so basically, the, I mean, the baby's healthy. Everything's fine with the baby. Like, my body just won't dilate, and so. I think the frustrating part and why she's so upset is that there hasn't really been progress the last few days, and so, like, that's no, the like, frustrating thing. For weeks. Yeah. Um, and she's been doing everything that she's supposed to do, and so. It'll happen. But we just, like, scheduled an induction today, and that's not for. I don't even know what day it is anymore, but. It's over a week away. 10 days away. Yeah. So it's just like she's been doing everything impossible to get this baby moving, to get dilated, and, like, for how many days now there hasn't been any change and like the checkings really hurt so yeah it's just a lot like at our appointment last week it was over a week ago i was less than a centimeter dilated but i was thinking by our next appointment i would at least be like a little bit more and it's just not happening just really didn't want to have to get induced basically that's like your body isn't like really going into labor so they're just like putting you on more medicine and like more drugs and stuff. I feel like I'd rather have a C-section than get induced. <laughs> you see this? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I can edit that out. You guys almost got the name. You almost got it, but you did it. Because we're going to bleep it out. But at least I have like natural blush after I done crying. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go see a movie tonight because... I'm sad. She's sad, and so we need to. We need to do something fun. The last couple weeks, we haven't been really doing too much because we've been trying to be around I the know. house. And so now we're just gonna go take advantage of these last however many times. It's just us two. How many days? Yeah. And surprisingly, this is crazy. People don't believe us. We have never been to a movie together. No. And we've like been together almost coming up on three years, and we have never been to a movie in a movie theater. I know. So we're gonna go to a movie tonight and change that. So, sorry, I was crying. Basically, the update. <laughs> Baby's healthy, everything's fine, but I'm not dilating. I'm just having contractions for, I don't want to say like for nothing, but they don't mean anything because my body's not dilating. So, like, they're not labor contractions, they're just for fun, I guess. I keep trying to tell so, her it's because she did such a good job creating a good home for baby. He, he just, doesn't want to leave. He just likes it a lot. Obviously, the longer he's in there, the bigger he's going to be. And I'm a pretty small framed girly, so I'm worried about that too. Now he might be born in August. And now he might be born in August. <laughs> and he's gonna be like freaking nine pounds. Or he's he's, he's about to be so big. Oh, so that's the update. But we're heading to the gym so I can walk because you know apparently that helps. Even though I've been walking, I think I I walk like basically every single day. So I don't know if that actually helps or not. Under the heat, I'm half away. We went to Starbucks and on Wednesdays for like only three weeks the cold drinks are half price so if you're watching this remember for next Wednesday but I haven't been to Starbucks in a minute. We've been going to Dunkin' a lot. Lunch is served. I just got ready for the Barbie movie and I know some people like dress up to go to this movie and stuff but yeah that just won't be happening so I'm just wearing this like pink romper that I have because it's super comfy and also talking to Instagram support at the same time because something is messed up with my account but before we go I want to make this banana bread because I love to bake things bake box things I do make some things from scratch after we have a baby and I'm like have my energy back i want to get more into baking actual things like from scratch with ingredients but for now it's this banana bread mix from trader joe's it's in a box because it's honestly so good and i love it so why not use it you know and i have my cute little bread pan here i think i showed you guys this when i got it like months ago but it's from caraway i'm so obsessed with their stuff i want to ask like for christmas for their complete bakeware set because I love their stuff so much. But 
like this little cream color. So yeah, let's make this banana bread. Okay, we need two eggs, a third cup of vegetable oil, and three fourths cup of water. And then I'm also gonna add chocolate chips, like the dark chocolate chips into here. Keep on pushing anyway. raspberry leaf tea i've just been making like huge batches in my tea kettle and then chilling it in the fridge like just leaving this in my fridge and then i will like pour some for the day mix it with lemonade or pineapple juice or something so we're gonna make more of this i had to get a new box because i went through an entire box of it already and still not dilating everyone on my tiktok is like i swear raspberry leaf tea like helps <coughs> That was aggressive. Helps to like open you up down there. And some people are like, oh, the raspberry tea is what like got me started to dilating. I have been drinking this for like three weeks now, I think. Every single day. Nothing's working. So I'm gonna make more though. We'll see. We'll see. Moving motion. Please help me take the pain away. sophomore year of high school what the heck i probably haven't been to a, a movie in the last decade to be honest oh wow so this is really overdue for us but i hope that the movie is good thank you so we'll see it's about to start storming and there's the thunder if you can hear it she doesn't like storms so i think she's very happy that we came home for dinner we're having turkey burgers and sweet potato fries which are in the air fryer and look how happy maybe is you love when everyone's home huh i know she's like a mom in that way i know the buns for our burgers and what else we're we gonna put on our burgers a little carrot for maybe sitting like a good girl easy that was so nice <laughs> the nights by like watching tv on the couch and normally i have dessert and fall asleep on the couch but we're gonna go to sleep so i'm going to end this video here thank you guys for spending a typical day in my life at 39 weeks pregnant so crazy when you guys are seeing this video my due date is the next day which is actually crazy but i will keep you guys updated on all of the baby things and everything like that I love you and I will see you in the next video. Bye!